here and now. We are here to tell you about the various <laughs> imperialist basically um, maneuverings that are taking place in order to forestall the Palestinian resistance movement, the Black Nations liberation struggle in the United States of America, in Canada, CSIS, and uh, the uh, intelligence spinoff from CSIS. Well, CSIS is an intelligence spinoff of the RCMP. Everywhere <clears throat> it's happening because we are growing and we're getting stronger right. and they are treating us as a threat not to uh, Canadians and Americans. No, we're a threat to the money bags. To them, right? The system. Yeah. yeah. Right. You wrote uh, uh, an important piece there on the targeting of uh, Black American politicians by the Zionist machine. <clears throat> Yeah, I ran across this about two, two, about almost two weeks ago, um, a story, and I did a little research into it, and I would encourage others, our listeners, our viewers, to do a little research into this. Um, basically, we can approach it many ways. If I'm a capitalist in the United States and a politician, I'm going to be pissed off that Israel is trying to influence my domestic agenda in my country. Mm. No, I don't see it like because I'm not. That's not my my spin. But that's how the U.S. press would spin it. They did that when they had Russia Gate, which is all fake. But this mm. ain't fake. There's a mm. company. There's a the, the um, Israeli state has a department called the Dis Department of Diaspora Affairs. Mm. Sounds like it's part of their foreign ministry. Yeah. or their intervention foreign ministry. Mm. Okay, so when they want to intervene, they use the Diaspora Affairs Department to intervene. Mm. And they spend $2 million and to create a program to send automated fake names, fake pictures, um, responses to Facebook and X posts by politicians, or to actually put their fake posts and messages on web pages that they created in the U.S. and Canada. So they create the fake web page and they populate it with their messages about um, students not being safe on campus if they're Jewish, about Black Lives Matter being radical and the civil rights movement being friends of Israel, about um, the uh, the need to oppose the Palestinian resistance movement, et cetera. So these these were their thematic messages, and they were all fake. Mm -hmm. Nobody nobody in reality wrote these messages, but computers or this um, office in Israel, this company called Stoic. So mm -hmm. basically, it's it's public relations that is based on lies and a tailored messages to influence the politics in 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 recipient country. Now, when they wrote the Black American Congress members, it was very interesting. They didn't respond to what these Black American Congress members had said on Twitter, I mean on X or on uh Facebook. They just posted something about uh um Hamas is dangerous or um the UNRWA has members of Hamas in it. You know, it, it mm. Israel came with that lie a few months ago through mm. this agency. The, this agency is what spreads the lies. Mm. The government official would say something, then the lie factory starts to create the public opinion using these fake bots. And that's how it works. Do the same thing in Canada. Mm. So they, they promote this, in, this lie that UNRWA is dangerous. Therefore, blah, 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 blah. This kind of mm. thing. And mm. It's also extended recently to um, an African American lawyer and pod co -host, podcast host who has been a critical of, of Israel. And they've been sending letters to Patreon to try and get Patreon to not, not give her support. Patreon mm -hmm. is a website. You know, most of us know about it. But for those who don't, Patreon is a website that will allow you and me, example, uh, Abraham, or a show 
to get donations to we we would be called the the creative content producers. So um, this African American lawyer and podcaster has been critical of of Israel and its attack on the Palestinians, and now they're targeting her. So before they targeted the Black Americans, Black American congressmen, just to put something on their web page or their ex ex post or their Facebook post. Now this black American person is being targeted to try and de to deplatform her from Patreon. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. people should know. And so it, this apparently is how many countries or movements um, try to influence opinion on the within the cloud within the internet by putting a pin, by logging into websites. I I actually know of a left group, I'm not gonna mention their name, who actually was doing this themselves. It was very interesting. And one who does it right now mm. to uh put people. So it's not like it's not done. Mm. Because they just go to they have a message they want to get out or people that they want to recruit, and they use the internet to do it through uh linking to a Facebook post someone does or an ex post or something on social media. And they create and they post on their website. Their website, they post their messages. So it's mm-hmm. quite, it's quite fake. But I, I wanted people to know this, this was happening, mm-hmm. because that's how this information gets. Um, these p- political opinions get um, re-supported within the superstructure of ideas through this influence peddling, and they're called covert, covert uh, influence operations (CIOs). Meta and ChatGPT. ChatGPT was used to create the cartoons and create images and create messages, and mm-hmm. Meta was used as a way of 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 uh, putting the, putting their opinion out here through tagging on to to a Facebook post. Mm-hmm. Meta and ChatGPT has removed these this um the the known content from Stoic through the Office of Diaspora Affairs. They removed it from their website, but the mm-hmm. fact that um. I just showed. I just mentioned the, this African American podcast and lawyer is still getting targeted through um, the same kind of campaign. To me, means that Stoic is still doing it, or or someone else. Hmm. Yeah, this is, is these robotic comments. You know, creating a an atmosphere of uh, of uh, delegitimization of yes. the uh, of the uh, of the person targeted. Exactly. Uh, this reminds me of the robotic, you know, mentality of the Zionists in general. You know, these people, all they have, you know, to say, you know, is uh, a string of talking points that they all repeat together and that they all know are not accurate. And yet they all know that uh, it's in their interest to lie and, and they're quite yes. willing to do so. Yeah. Uh, yes. Your your introduction here, uh I, I'm going to show it on a, a share screen here. Thank you. Uh, uh, let's see now. Okay, there. It's in full. Okay. This is the first page. I'll scroll down here so that people can have a read, you know, stop the video and have a read. We, we we probably should try and find a way of putting it in uh, uh in the attaching it somewhere on the uh, on the YouTube post. Yes, it, maybe it can get it as a comment. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, yes. Yes. We, uh, we do that. Right. So I like for people to read this and think about what's going on and just just know that the Zionist state. No. But one of the realizes the United States has no opposition to this. This is clearly, okay, the way that politics runs in the world, people may or may not know this, you're not supposed to influence in the affairs of other countries, which people do all the time. Mm. This is boo-boo, okay? Mm. And if you do, oh my gosh, you're a, you're a bad actor. We do something about you. <laughs> okay, now the U.S. has given Israel, according to my records, which I think sounds kind of short, up to seven billion dollars in the last twenty years, last forty years. That's a lot of money. Huh. Seven billion. That's a lot of money. Huh. And if I'm giving you money, 
and you and then and then and then you try to tell me how, how to run my business, I should have a problem with that. That's how that works. If I if I give you money, you're supposed yeah. to shut up. Right? Yeah. Right. If, I, if I'm financing you, shut the blank up and be quiet. I'm in mm. charge. You're saying no, I'm in charge. And I'm influenced. I'm I'm gonna influence what, what you do. Yeah. That's the bourgeois issue. That's the bourgeois issue that quote should be getting raised. They 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 faked it when they had the Russia gates. That Russia, oh, what Russia's doing this, and yeah. we all. But what Israel does it is not fake; it's real, and hmm. and, and, and and it's okay hmm. because because it's against Palestinians, because it's spreading Islamophobia, because it's spreading lies about Jewish students being fake, being unsafe on campus, because it's spreading lies about uh honor, like you said, it's all based on a lie. So it's basically, it's it's a big lie factory, and they have to have a lie factory to create public opinion or attempt to create public opinion to support the lie factory. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, the first lie and the biggest lie is a slogan they stole from a, the Jewish territorialist movement, and they say that uh, Palestine was a land without a people for a people without a land. There you okay. Go. A people without a land, yeah, but you know, like Palestine, you know, has a people, <laughs> still has, and and will always have its its own indigenous people there. Palestinians are not giving up, no way. It's incredible, you know, the resilience that they that they have. You know, they're it supposed is, to be, yeah, they're supposed to be made, you know, to turn against uh, Hamas and uh, blame Hamas for being bombed, but uh, they're not uh, uh, that gullible. And uh, they've had this experience before, for sure. So, <clears throat> uh, the Zionists are caught. They've set up their own trap. They walked into it, and uh, <laughs> Hamas has been waiting for them, you know, for years, and they're already there. They have a whole other structure underground with factories producing armaments underground. <laughs> and... Uh, they cannot just, be found, they cannot be stopped, you know, like uh, the Yasin uh, 105 uh, uh, rocket, you know, just took out, you know, eight soldiers yesterday in a troop carrier, and uh, that can happen again. Well, I'm sure, you know, and what's up, what's up, something else, Abraham, I think, I, at least I, I want to say, because it's, it's, um, I, th I think it's an important comment to make. The Zionist movement is based on one presupposition that the occupation of, and oppression of the Palestinians is carte blanche okay. Yeah. And the the view of the resistance is, no, it's not. You are an oppressor, and we have the right to resist oppression. Yeah. And that seems to me to be the fundamental difference quote, of opinion here. Yeah. I'm of the view that Palestinian people, like many other oppressed peoples, are being oppressed by the Zionist Israeli state and their international backers. Mm. Didn't have, have backers, they couldn't pull it off. Mm. Not by themselves, no. Uh -uh. Mm. And so those who those who want to say they support Palestinian resistance, Palestinian freedom, but don't support the Palestinian resistance, are really in a, in a bad place. Yeah, yeah, positive yeah. resistance is the basis of what is the basis of the fight back. Yeah, yeah. That, that's 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 why that's how they fight back. They fight back through the resistance movement. Yeah, I mean, and if you can't say yeah. I support positive resistance, but no, there, there, there there's no buts. We got we got to stop having buts. There's no mm. buts. Mm. You may not like this or that tactic. That's something you just got to get over. I'm sorry, get over it because. <laughs> The people have a right to resist. You would have yeah. no right to say they have a right to resist. They have a right to resist oppression. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> a couple of thoughts. Uh, you mentioned previously the, um, uh, the Zionist government's minister of diaspora affairs. <laughs> that strikes me as being ludicrous, you know, because... The Jewish diaspora, which numbers more than the number of Jewish Israeli citizens, has no vote. We have no vote. <laughs> we don't get to elect, you know, the minister of diaspora affairs. <laughs> we don't get to vote for the government. And yet we're told that we have to be loyal to, the, to whatever government is being installed. 
and this government, you know, probably uh, has uh, minimal public support now, uh, considering the uh, demonstration uh, yesterday, which was basically calling for a revolution to overthrow the government. A massive demonstration. You know, things are happening there in spite of the indoctrination of the Israelis. But uh, <laughs> Minister of Diaspora Affairs, <laughs> you know, because they have to have such a minister because they have to claim to be representing the entire Jewish people because in order to uh, claim the right of national self-determination and the right, you know, to uh, use violence in order to achieve national self-determination, they're using the excuse that they are representing the entire Jewish nation internationally, which they don't. You know, only a minority of Jewish people actually live in the Zionist state. There's more Americans, Jewish Americans, than there are Jewish Israelis. 7.4. Oh, yes. Here's, here's all the, they've added the word and combating anti Semitism. Oh, uh, really? Uh, and the yeah, flag, well, <laughs> flag. this is really good. Are this they going to combat anti Semitism amongst their own supporters? <laughs> probably not. So here's, yeah, probably here's not. the pictures and what they do. And this, these are the ones who funded it. I want you to see these are the ones who funded the lie campaign targeting Black American congressmen and targeting, I think, targeting a Black American uh, podcast and, and lawyer right now. These are the scoundrels. Look at their faces. I want you to see the face. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we have a name. This is the face. A senior official. Well, what's, what's this? Ron Broomer. Here we go. Oh, Ron. I don't know if he's left or right, you know? Here, here's old yeah. Ronnie Broomer with, with the microphone. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah, and a little American flag in front as well. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, good guy. yeah, true. There we go. That's yeah. the ally with America. Yeah. Know? I want people yeah. to see that here here's here's their website. And they have reached, they've launched this campaign to influence the political opinion opinion in the United States and and around the world. Yes. They paid like two million bucks, two million dollars to do this. Yeah. Okay. So I want yeah. people to know it's right there. You, you can check them out, see what they do. They're just yeah. they're, they're absolutely they're, they're terrible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then, you know, like uh, intimidating, you know, black politicians in the U.S., you know, like is uh, 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 a new uh, program of theirs, two million for a few politicians. You know, wow. They really go all out. They go all but, out. You know, go all out, man. Yeah. But uh, they do the same for the entire Jewish people, you know, like any sort of, you know, dissident opposition like me, you know, got put into jail. You know, they put me into jail. They called up the uh, the division of uh, hate crimes, you know, the Montreal police. And they took it all seriously, you know, took me away and <clears throat> tortured me one night, you know, like uh, in a police cell that had four neon tubes lit all night long with a bench and no mattress, no pillow, no blankets, and a stream of, of cold air, you know, being filtered through the uh, system there. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, they uh, are scared because they know that their whole schema is based upon lies. Okay, so they have to protect their credibility somehow by attacking the credibility of those who are pointing out what lies are being propagated. So, yeah. you know, that's their methodology and they know what their, what their task is and we know what their task is. And we know that uh, uh, they can only get away with lies, you know, for a limited uh, period of time. And now that the uh, young Jewish Americans are finding out how they've been lied to all their lives, Boy, are they pissed, you know, <laughs> you know, because you're supposed to be honest, you know, in the Jewish community, you can't just, you know, go around, you know, telling lies and expecting people to believe it. You know, that's an insult. And, and, uh, and, and, <laughs> you know, well, these, uh, these... Uh, this is not going to, uh, you know, it's not going to work anymore with the younger generation. Well, these values that the younger generation has been told that they should honor and model 
or mm. what's, is, is what is causing the conflict because they see that the that the value they've been told they've been told to uh, to uh, honor and model are not being carried out by the by the institutions that claim that they that they that they that they that they, that they represent them mm. and the, when, when when someone sees that kind of con contradiction or hypocrisy or cynicism it, it has to make them think especially mm -hmm. if they're young and their brains are still growing and they haven't hardened their thinking in one way or or, or the other if they, if they have a critical view that's mm -hmm. important for critical thinking mm -hmm. just look at it and hmm mm -hmm. that's yeah. true hmm huh. well why wait a minute why is this hmm huh. mm -hmm. I don't have a question. No, no, no. You can't ask a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right? Never ask that question. No questions allowed. Yeah. No questions. No questions. You're you're an anti semite. You're not. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? I'm not trying to. I'm not talking. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, the the actually the fact that since since BDS since BDS this these these the designers the movement came with the anti the anti semite argument. Yeah. That came out of that 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 didn't come out of the white supremacists. That didn't come out of the of the, of the Nazis. No, that came out of opposition to BDS. Mm -hmm. they immediately got that term. It was immediate. Immediately, you got that semi. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the, the last uh, last uh, argument that they have in order to intimidate people. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> but they don't uh, make such a a criticism of the. Uh, uh, of those people in their black pocket, you know, who are the Christian fundamentalists mm -hmm. in the United States who are supporting Zionism because they want to get rid of the Jewish people in uh, their their country, as they put it, you know, their state, which is defined as a Christian nation state. <clears throat> so either the Jewish people have to submit to that definition or leave and go to uh, the Zionist state or disappear. That's what you know they're being told by the uh, Christian fundamentalists who are supporting Israel, and that's supposed to be a benefit to the Jewish people. The Zionists are claiming that this is you know our allies, really. You know these are the racists, and they're not just racist against the black nation; they're racist against any nation that they can find. You know that is that doesn't conform to their model of a, an acceptance of a Christian nation state. As no. uh, printed on the on the American dollar and God we trust, uh, yeah. which God do they mean? You know, like when they talk about the Lord, you know, like <laughs> uh, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about their own God, and anybody who doesn't worship their own God, well, <clears throat> they're not. Uh, they don't have any rights. In fact, uh, subject to uh, <clears throat> subject to genocide. You know, if they accept genocide against the Palestinians, then they will accept genocide against the black nation, against Jewish right. nationality. Right. You know, this is right. their methodology. You know, they're willing to go ahead with this, you know. Um, and uh, we have to realize, you know, the danger involved here, you know, and not be naive. Yeah. Right. The danger involved here and not be naive. There is there is danger. Sisters and brothers who are watching this program, who listen to this program, when I look at last week, or last Thursday, Friday, or Monday, and I see bodies on the ground mm. like leaves from a fallen tree when there's a rainstorm, mm. that is not acceptable. I'm mm. so I'm happy to say, I'm like, what's going on here? Mm. When I learned that the Israelis to use use a um food aid truck to sneak into the camp. How could food aid workers ever be trusted again? Hmm. I mean, how? how? Tell me. Okay, we're talking about low down, dirty, uh, what does what Arthur calls wetico behavior of a hmm. set of, of a cannibal, of a society hmm. whose basis is so corrupt there's nothing that they won't do to mm -hmm. achieve their where the ends justify the means. Yes. We're yeah. not, we're not, we, we, can't, we can't be about that. We're going to make mistakes in our movements, yes, but the ends cannot be justified the means. No, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, mm -hmm. no, we can't. We, we, 
I move with that move. I move with Kenny based on that. If 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 not, then why 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 engage in it? We we have higher morals, higher values. We're, we're about the emancipation of humanity, not about sneaking in on a truck to murder to 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 supposedly free for people that could have been freed through a through a phone call. Or, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no, no. Most 274, of the 274, 274 Palestinians, you know, massacred, you know, just right. to make their way through that camp. Plus, they killed three hostages. Yes, as well. And they won't, they won't, and they won't talk about that. No. They won't oh. talk about that. Oh, no, that's 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 the revolting. Can't talk about yeah. that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Should should it? They won't talk about it at all. But I, I, I but I'm saying this. People have to remember that the Palestinian resistance movement has gotten medicine to their prisoners yeah if they were if they were if they were not civil they wouldn't have got they wouldn't, they wouldn't have cared let, 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 them, let them die of heart attack or stroke or whatever other illnesses their prisoners have my yeah. question to you to challenge anybody do the israelis do the israelis allow palestinians to have their medicine i yeah. would think they don't they might but i would think the odds are against that being true yeah. so the palestinians yeah. if 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 they want to free somebody, they have freed their prisoners through negotiations. Yes, they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. Some have been yeah. murdered by Israeli military attacks, but most have been freed in prisoner exchanges. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is you don't have to come into a village and free your prisoners. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to go in and kill somebody. Yeah. There is a way, in the same way that Russia and Ukraine exchange prisoners. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. Russian prisoners are returned to Russia. Ukrainian prisoners are returned to Ukraine. Yes, they do. They do exchange mm. the prisoners. Mm. Okay, so if they can do it, the Israelis can do it. They've done it. They have, the prisoners, their prisoners have been released by mm. the Palestinian resistance, and Palestinian resistance prisoners have, have, have been released by Israel. So you can yeah. do it. So yeah. I'm saying raids like this are not necessary. Yeah. If, 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 if I'm coming from this, a, a bourgeois, diplomatic, you know, it in my seat at the UN talking, you know, talking, talking points. You you ain't got to do that no more, because most of your prisoners have been released through negotiations. So why even go in there and kill the people because you want to kill somebody? That's why. Mm, That's yeah. my view. Let's let's do it by force. We're tough guys. I'm, I'm a tough guy with a gun. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's so it pathetic. You know, like uh, they think that you know being a tough guy with a gun. Even the women, you know, act this way. You know, is yes. uh, their uh, psychological response, you know, to the Holocaust. Now they're saying, oh, now we're ready to uh, fight back and resist uh, any Nazis, you know. And, uh, you know, and and uh, in order to, and this is the only way in which they can justify that uh, level of violence. And so they have to define the Palestinians as equivalent to Nazis. And they use the term, even though they're acting like Nazis themselves. And so they justify their own violence by claiming that the Palestinians and Hamas in particular have a genocidal intent. And they claim that October the 7th was a genocide, when in fact it was a hostage taking. At the Nova Festival, okay, you know, like a lot of, you know, kids got killed. But these kids are soldiers too, you know, like they're not, you know, totally innocent. And they didn't have to go that far. You know, they could have taken them, you know, been more organized and gotten more hostages. But true, true, true. very true. That's true. But, you know, like it's it's not, you know, like a genocide that they had uh, undertaken no. there. No, and they've no, been there, treating there, the, no, the is, hostages there. very well compared to how the Palestinian prisoners are treated. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, oh, wait. Have you seen the photos? I wish I could put some on the screen right now, but I probably can't do it. Oh, of the Palestinian the, prisoners. The, emaci the emaciated yeah, man. Mr. Tamimi. You know, yes. I've met him. I interviewed him yes. when I was okay, in Palestine. You know? yes. Yes. I couldn't yes. recognize him in his uh, out of jail, you know, like photo, you know, like he. To, to wow. our viewers, you need to get on Instagram. This is the only thing I think you should. I mean, I'm going to say what you need to do with your time. But the before and after, these are not Photoshop pictures. Yeah. These they go in looking healthy and come in looking like what happened to you? Yeah, he went now, to a concentration camp. That's what happened. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna say something. I'm not trying to. I, it doesn't happen even in the American prisons. No, mm -hmm. 
that kind of emaciation does not occur. Mm -hmm. This is done to torture somebody. Yeah. This is torture. To come out looking, everything is gray. Skin is tight, is, is uh, taut. Body has lost all the body fat. Yeah. It's gone. Okay, body is eating itself. Yeah. That in itself is a war crime. Right yeah. there. Yeah. I don't care what country it is, Holmes. You got you can't do that to nobody. They're locked up. You got you gotta give them three squares, exercise. Yeah. Humanity has to occur in the jail. They can't occur in the jail. Where else can it occur? Yeah. And this Otherwise is they're guilty of a greater crime than the uh, than any yes. supposed crime for which the prisoner has been taken into custody. They're very a bigger well criminal. You know, very, than any criminal well that they're yeah, yeah. Now, right. it, 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 it bothers me to see those pictures. Because I know what oh. happened. There, there, there's also a video on the video where the the prison the prison guards are, are on top of they they have them in, in a cage oh, and, they're, yeah. they're, and they're looking now what are they doing what are they doing and they saw some prisoners trying to pass what toilet tissue mm -hmm. that tells me you ain't got nothing in the place if, they, if children have to if I have to smuggle a toilet tissue pass to somebody on the hope and hope and hope I don't get caught then they must not be much around. <laughs> Right, yeah. I mean, come on, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm gonna mess around. So right there, it showed me that, and they're oh, we got him, we got oh, this, this bravado. Yeah. We caught him, such a toilet tissue. Yeah, Dude, what's going on your prison? What's going on your place? I got some toilet tissue, man. Yeah, come on now. Uh, they, uh, okay. Meanwhile, yeah. you know, there's a couple of images, you know, that I can't get out of my mind. You know, first was, you know, I think it was Al Jazeera had a uh, an image of uh, some bodies in the street. And the first body wasn't a body anymore. It was just a human skeleton, you know, like, and they only showed, you know, half a second of it, but yeah. it was a complete human skeleton, the meat of which had been eaten by the uh, the animals, like the cats, Yeah, you know, that had no other, you know, nobody around, you know, to feed them anymore. And so they would eat the uh, bodies of dead Palestinians. That I saw. And then another one is a dog that I saw. <laughs> Excuse me. A dog carrying a dead Palestinian baby in its right, jaws, right. taking it away, you that. know, to hide itself, you know, and to eat the baby, you know, in, uh, in seclusion. You know, like this has not happened before. This is unprecedented. It is. It, it is. At least as far as it being captured on video, it's so. It's so. Yeah. It's so pronounced. It's so widespread. I can put a camera here and catch it. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. that's widespread. Yeah. 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 Well, we don't have but, many uh, uh, more myths to go here. Right. Right. So, how to conclude? You know, like it's difficult. It's very difficult. Yeah. <sighs> but people have to remember that when they protest and 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 have 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 indignation, it. It's nothing unnormal about it. It's not. There's nothing unnormal about that. That's correct. You should be outraged about what's occurring. Yeah. China has offered to send in peacekeeping troops. I like that idea. <laughs> Chinese peacekeeping well, troops. You know, to separate I, them. I, you know. Oh. Well, you know, um, if that is what's needed to to to, to stop the massacres, then that's what's needed. Yeah. Because no, nobody is stopping the massacres. Hmm. Nothing has stopped the massacres. Yeah. Not and, even the Security our, Council our, called for ceasefire. You know, Security it, Council has called for ceasefire. That's supposed to be legal. That's supposed to be legally enforceable. And they, you know, well, they, then then mm. somebody has to enforce it. Yeah. I mean, the way is there. You know, the legal authorization for the enforcement of a ceasefire is there. You know, like, and uh, an, an appropriate power should get in there and stop them. U.S. is sending in its troops to support, you know, the uh, Zionist yes. military's operations. The opposite of what should be done by right. peacekeeping troops. Right, right. right. Oh right. my, oh my. Okay. Next week we'll be back, and we're here to provide you with the uh, analysis that uh, others, you know, are I think uh, a bit afraid to say, and a I bit think afraid. So. Like, I think uh, so. Yeah, yeah. To go that so. far, you know, as we yeah. are. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back next week. See you all. And please share. Share is sharing is you know, is an action. 
and you can take that action. And uh, that's right. Sure know, and everyone has a responsibility to take such action as well. Okay. Thank you very much for listening.